Welcome to something we call false spring. <laughs> and we're going to start off by telling you things not to do in the garden right now. And the number one thing not to do, do not turn the soil over. Even though we have these nice warm temperatures, it's too early. You're going to destroy the soil structure. If the soil sticks to the shovel, it's too wet to turn. But we can do one little job real quick. This manure that we put on the tomato bed early in the season, we can just kind of spread out a little bit so that this rain that's coming will release a lot of these nutrients here. And if you look closely, you can see there's some bulbs coming up because they love this nice warm manure. All right, I got a couple other little jobs we can do in the garden. But just one more reminder, don't turn it over because you're going to want to. You're going to want to get out there, but it's too early. All right, with late winter rain coming, I'm going to open these up. Not much left in here except some garlic, but might as well get them wet. We're going to put some seeds in here probably next week. I got a couple more to open up. Edible weeds and leeks and greens in here. Boy, it's great to see green. Well, I can't believe it. Our winter sowed radishes are already coming up. This is the earliest I've ever seen them come up. In about a week or two with these temperatures, we'll start thinning them and those thinnings are gonna go into our first salad of the year in February. This is exciting. One more job we're not doing, we're not cutting down the perennials that we've left up yet. It's too early. We want any beneficial insects that are nesting in here to hatch out and that's not gonna happen for at least another month. So see the beauty in what's left. Well, we had lots of frost heaving this year with this cold weather and then warm, and that's what caused this. And we're just gonna write some of this stuff in our statues. Good job for warm temperatures, but when it's too early to plant. All right. I'm going to sit right here and enjoy the rain. Well, it is obviously seed ordering time, and if you have as many catalogs as I do, you might be overwhelmed, but just look through your catalogs and find something that moves you. You know, I'm growing things sometimes just for the name. Matt's Wild Cherry is for my son Matt. Uh, there's a plant in here with the name of Gloria. That's my mother's name, and you're never going to be disappointed with something that you get from one of these good seed catalogs. One that I have to tell you about that is an interesting one. It's called the 2008 Ethnobotanical Catalog of Seeds from J.L. Hudson Seedsman. No pictures. Okay, so it's, it's definitely a different one. It's filled with weird stuff and fun stuff to grow. If you like to grow from seed, check this out. You can also see it online, but the uh, website is like 1990s technology. It's not easy. I love to have, you know, I'm old. I love to have the catalog in hand and always order from this. But before you do order your seeds, you need to know what you already have. Okay, that's all seeds people have sent me, and I've got a bag back there. <laughs> this big filled with seeds. Why would I be ordering more seeds? Well, it's just because I'm crazy, and you probably are too, but if you wanna know the seeds that you have, if you wanna know that they're still good, here's how we test them. So these peas are from, well, four years ago. So I have a moist paper towel, and I'm just gonna take some down. Pe peas are easy because they're big seeds. If you had tomatoes or something else, again, you take about 10 of them. You put them in here and you wrap that moist paper towel around them. And then into a closable bag. And we're gonna close it up. We'll put it someplace warm, someplace that you'll remember. <laughs> you don't wanna forget this. And in about seven to 10 days, We'll see what sprouts. If nothing sprouts, these seeds are no good. If 50% or more sprout, we can still use these. If less, again, we'll just throw them into the compost pile. That's all there is to it. I am looking so forward to spring. Every show that we've shot the last three weeks, four weeks, I've said, I can't wait for spring. All right, let's finish up. Well, I'm very excited about Rebecca from White Flower Farm because it's fragrant and it just has a Oh, just a hint of beautiful aroma. And then the other one I got from White Flower Farm, Lagoon, is into its second blooms here, which is great. Now, check me out online. Lots of great gardening stuff there, but probably most importantly right now, my speaking schedule. And I'm going to be all over the place, and especially at the Home and Garden Show. You can come see me 
for free. So check me out there. Until next week, it's the start of the season, and I can't wait. Did I mention that? I can't wait. <laughs> See you then.